tape. I use this on all the runners in my house. Alien tape is basically a miracle tape. It is a two-sided tape, comes in four rolls. You get 10 feet each, that's 40 feet, probably more than you'll ever need, okay? Essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna peel it back, you cut yourself a little piece of whatever you need, just like that. It is extremely sticky, all right? You take that piece, so this is wood, you take that little piece, and I'll put it on the side here, and you just press it on. All right, it's all that you need to do, okay? And then you simply peel away, and I'll try to do that. I, I may do that during, during our little break here because it's hard to grab. There it is. I think I got it. Oh, right there. Come on. There it is. See the little sheet comes off? There it is. Now, that, I'm not putting my little guy on there. There's, a, there's not really a place to put the little guy on there. But now, whatever it is I need to stick on here, I'll just show you my hands for now. This... I don't know if you can see, that's not the greatest camera shot. Look it. Can you see my finger? All right, I am now, I am now, I'm not stuck here permanently, but it's really, really hard to get my finger off there. The best way to do it is to twist it, and then that relieves, uh, releases all the little suction cups. You can use this over and over and over again. And as you can see, a little bit goes a long way. I'm doing a four pack, 40 feet, Lou Caputo standing by. Lou, do you see, I couldn't even get my finger off this stuff, it's so sticky, it's crazy. To back on it though, so that we don't get stuck to these things. You know what's interesting though? It's once you've got your finger off of there though, there's no residue. None. Like it doesn't feel sticky still because it doesn't use adhesive. It's suction cups. It, you well, thousands of little tiny suction cups. Like uh, we call it a nanotechnology. Okay. So that's what actually grabs it. Let me show you a quick example with this. Okay. And by the way, you are getting the 40 feet. You can cut it to any size that you want. I absolutely love this stuff. I've got a metal hook here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on this piece of plexiglass to kind of simulate if I was putting this on a mirror in a bathroom. P.S. This is something my wife did just a couple days ago, okay? Press down for a couple seconds. Now, that's on there. You can see that, but watch this. I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to hang a towel on this, okay? Because I want you to see, I'm going to take it out of the shot. I want you to see if I take this and hang it on here. Guy, this is ready to use instantly, as soon as you want. Now, when I decide, hey, you know what? I know this is on here nice and tight, but you know what? I want to move this. I take it, I rotate it, boom. I broke the seal on there that came right off. That is the magic of alien tape right there, my friend. Yeah, you know what, and, and Lou will show you a whole bunch of ways you can use it. I've used it, you know what's funny is that I've used it, I've, I've actually gave a roll to my neighbor, because I, you know, he'd ask me, he goes, you have any double-sided tape? And I'm like, I have something better. All right, so double-sided type tape wears off. A suction cup doesn't wear off. And when you have like thousands and thousands of them, those are lead weights. And we are using that suction cup technology. If you need to install a shelf, you could do that. Remember, it's it's the best surfaces that it works on are sealed surfaces, but this works on brick. It works on wood. That's a wood top table. And it's keeping that vase from clicking over. Great on glass. If you want to hang something in your shower, four rolls of this for less than $18 today. Get it. I have it on my runners. I have it on um, collectibles that I have on tables that I'm afraid. I have a, a vase that you know I'm worried about. It's going to spill over. If you've got paperweights, collectible items that you love, if you just want to stick your phone in your car somewhere, if you want to use it on furniture. I mean, Lou, there are yeah. hundreds of places where you can use this in your house. Well, yeah, and I mean, you know, we saw the example of them using them on the brick, you know? I mean, nothing, no adhesive will work on that stuff. Why? Because it's porous. Alien tape will, because again, no adhesive. It's suction cups. I'll give you an example of that, okay? If you have one big suction cup, and that's typically what they put on these shower caddies, okay? So if I wanted to put that shower caddy on this wall, let's say this was in my shower stall, and I've got the suction cup, I go to put that on there, and you can see what happens. It's, there's no way it's gonna stick. So I took the suction cups off the back, I put alien tape on here. Now watch this guy, I can stick this on here, one, two, three, four, five, like that, and that's good to go. That's not going anywhere now. I can fill that up with my shampoo and conditioner. You know, it's not gonna fall. How about this? Maybe you've got wires running around the floor of your house and you know, on your baseboards. You wanna hide them in conduit. Don't drill into your conduit. Don't nail stuff into that. Use the alien tape guy to hold that conduit up there. It's not gonna damage it. On mirrors, I just showed you that example. If you wanna put a caddy on a mirror, alien tape is perfect for that. Cause again, you're not gonna drill into that. I love this in the kitchen because it's awesome to use on your marble, on your granite, if you've got a, ba a glass backsplash, on any of these surfaces, you can mount things and it doesn't leave behind any sticky residue. And then, you're talking about your stainless steel appliances, you can actually put up your kids' report cards and artwork now, or even if you just wanna hang stuff on your walls, maybe in a dorm room or anything like that, guy, alien tape is that solution that everybody's been looking for. And again, you're getting the 40 feet of it, 
and it is completely reusable. Yeah, I, and, and it works on all kinds of different surfaces. It does. Uh, you all know my, this is my little, uh, it's my do-it-yourself guy uh, cart, but it's also my, now that's clever cart. <laughs> so here's a good example too. All you do is you stick it on, and this surface, remember, this is a sealed surface. This, this stuff is amazing. So I put it on, and remember, I just press it, and you wanna make sure that you see all those little suction cups are getting adhered to, right? And then, you, then what you wanna do, the hardest part really is just peeling back, but I peel back that little, can you see me peeling that back? That goes off there. Here's just a wooden ruler, right? Maybe I wanna make sure my ruler sticks. I stick the ruler on there, and now I wanna show you, I can, this thing is hard. I mean, it's hard to get off there, right? You really, I mean, that thing is stuck on there, so imagine it's your cell phone, uh, you know, somewhere in your car. Now, it's not gonna ruin either the ruler or the box because it doesn't use a glue. So when I twist it off, and I'll twist it, it comes off, and I'll peel away the, the, the tape. I want you to see, look at, there's, there's the tape to give you an idea, but it does come all the way off. There's no effect on the ruler and there's no effect on the surface because it is not a glue, it's not a tape. It's completely different. Everybody that orders is gonna get four rolls of this stuff, which to be honest, is probably more than you'll ever use. But if you, you know, if you got a lot of rugs and you got a lot of stuff hanging and you wanna put it in, you wanna, you know, you don't wanna scar up your rollers, even if you got it for the shower, right? Or maybe you've got a, a refrigerator that nothing sticks to, like most refrigerators nowadays, uh, and you wanna put your kid's stuff up, cut a little piece off, put it wherever you need to, give it a little slice, peel it back and stick it on. It is, I mean, Lou, I, the first time we aired this, I was shocked. I'm like, I can't believe this stuff. Crazy. Yeah, it's amazing. And I'll tell you who, like, right away loved this was my wife, Kelly, because she's a big crafter. So for all the crafters today that are tuning in, I, I got to tell you something. You're not going to use glue dots anymore. You're not going to use hot glue guns. You don't need any of that when you got alien tape because you can cut it to any size that you want to. And it'll work on fabrics. It works on metal. It works on stone. It'll work on shell. I mean, just pretty much anything that you'd want to craft with, it's going to work. In fact, I've got a mirror, uh, not a mirror, a picture frame right here that my wife Kelly made. Um, and she put that together just using alien tape. And here's a pair of shoes. One's got an embellishment. The other one doesn't, guy. I put a piece of alien tape on the back watch this i peel off that uh, protective backing take that embellishment put it on there count to three one two three just like that and guy done just like that the alien tape works so you know what forget about the hot glue the glue dots crafters love this i love it for repairs around the house i think anybody who gets this is going to fall in love with their alien tape you get 40 feet of it all right and honestly yep. like i said and lou probably agrees a little goes a long way i would use more if i was doing like a shelf i would use a full piece but just for oh, your yeah. carpets and stuff so that they don't flop around or maybe maybe you've got a how about your little kitchen uh you know little kitchen mat that you have right that slides all over put this under there you'll love it all right Lou, you're coming back. You and me, Lou. Uh, look, yep. Go ahead, show that gonna, first. All right, I'm going to show this first. Here we go. That's what you can do with <laughs> alien tape. It's <laughs> the best. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to come back with the Wagner in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, my, my director, Charlie, just said, good in an earthquake, right? Keeps everything yeah, where it's supposed to be. Earthquake. All right, so anyway, hopefully you won't have to experience that. All right, uh, Lou is coming up. Hey, Lou, give me a quick promo on the Wagner Flexio. You and I love this item. Oh, this thing is fantastic, guy. I just painted a deck with this, and I gotta tell you something, it makes short work of any job that you're gonna work on. You can adjust everything from the spray angle, how much product's coming out of this. Your paint's gonna go a lot further, it's gonna dry faster, and guy, you're gonna get that job done up to five times faster than a brush and roller. I, you know what, I, you know I own it. I don't own this one. I yeah. own the model that came before. Amazing investment for, for a home. If you, if you wanna paint anything, it makes painting easy. And believe me, it's so much cleaner than a bucket and a brush. Yeah. So much cleaner. Absolutely. All right, Lou, see yep. you in a bit. Okay, buddy, I'll be back. All right, we're moving on. Uh, another great item. I told you, everything in this show that we've had today has been awesome for the home for you do it yourselfers. Also, everything in our show is at a great, great price today. This is uh, called Instatrim. And I will tell you, if you want your bathroom, if you, if you just use this for around the base of your toilet, just like that, it will make such a difference in the look of your bathroom. You won't get debris, uh, liquids, hair, stuff, you know, going under the bowl there where you, you know, you gotta clean it out uh, with a brush. You don't have to deal with that. It creates an airtight, watertight seal against anything that wants to get under there, all right? You are getting, uh, you're getting a two pack of 10 foot each. You're getting 20 feet of it. It comes in white, it comes in gray, 
and it comes in brown. The brown is more for like if you're doing living areas, you know, where maybe you've got paneling or hardwood. The gray can be for like uh, in and around appliances, great for that. And then the white, perfect for the bathroom, all right? If you want white, I have a thousand left, all right? Update, 900 left. We already sold 100 white. If you want this, and it has never been easier to use, you cut, it's self-adhesive, cut the, the size you want, lay it where you need to, the little flaps will overhang either side. I call it crown molding for your appliances, all right, or for anything. You can put it anywhere and it's easy to do it yourself. Uh, and the uh, gentleman who is a good friend of mine, uh, Mr. Rick Wood is standing by, he created this product. He knows what it's like uh, to have to get in there with a caulk gun and then you got the mess. But Rick, you created a product that's completely, does the same job, but it's a better way to do it. Absolutely, and uh, welcome back, Guy, from vacation. Thank you. Um, this is, uh, and I, I um, I talked to uh, Ty over the weekend uh, when we were talking about this, and I'm going to show you two new uh, things to do with Instant Trim. But this is, uh, and we gave you full credit for this, uh, Guy. Uh, this is the crown molding for the throne. <laughs> so the, the crown literally finishes off the toilet. Not only does it look great, but as you said, it just makes it so efficient to clean. It makes it much more sanitary. And it's pure vinyl, so it's easy to keep clean, look perfect, it'll bend around. I just stopped it in the center here so you could uh, see it before and after. But, you know, in all honesty, you start at the back, you wrap it around, yeah. you leave a gap at the back. You always want to leave a gap. Leave a gap at the back, and you have an incredibly great look. If your floor is dark, you could use a gray or the brown. And uh, we we did we did so many things. You look at this you look at this gap. We could either make it go away when I put the white uh, insta trim in there, or we could be a little bit more creative. Maybe we'll add the gray and look how nice that looks. If you've got uh, brushed nickel uh, appliances or yeah. uh, fixtures and so forth. Now. We've talked about these things. We've talked about the movement. And, and the guy, when we go back to you, I'm going to let folks, uh, let you show folks why this works so yeah. well. But if you look behind me in my house, um, this is my flooring. Uh, it's all over the house. It's a laminate flooring. It went right over the existing ceramic tile. It's easy to install. It was easy on your feet, but it moves. That's yes. why it's easy on your feet. Yes. It actually moves. So when I put this up against the wall like this, this is constantly moving. My molding goes on top of it. So now every time I put a piece of furniture there and walk by, I've actually got it moving. So I can go in with the Insta Trim. I don't stop it moving, and that's the beauty of Insta Trim. Yeah. I don't stop it from moving. I just let it move you, and keep a nice tight yeah. seal. You go with the flow, and that literally is what Absolutely. you're doing right there. And the key to this, again, now, what, so a lot of people are like, well, I could do that with caulk. Problem with caulk is once it dries, that sink is gonna move. When you sit on a toilet, it moves, you know it does. I mean, they're, they're, they, remember, there's a couple of bolts that hold it in. You put 100 or more pounds on there, it's gonna move, and that's why the molding cracks, okay? That's why the, the caulk cracks. And caulk is not a terrible product. We use it in our, in our, inside of our showers and things like that, but you know it has to be replaced from time to time. It dries out, it cracks, all right? What's wonderful about this product, in addition to it being flexible, is on the other side, and here's the face of it, on the other side, and this is where Rick really was brilliant. He created these flaps, and I don't know if you can see them. I'll try to, I'll try to push them. Those are the flaps right there. So that when you put this on something, the flaps give a little bit, right? So now you get that nice seal. So if I was to cut a piece, this is how easy it is to use. Just cut a piece, right? Like that. Uh, you, the, uh, the sticky part is on the inside. And so I simply try to I peel it away, and I'll try to get this peeled. Just hard to get started without nails. There you go. So there you go. I have peeled away the adhesive. So I pull that back. Now that, as you can see, is sticky. So now all I do, and I'll just show you here. I obviously wouldn't put molding here, but if this was where my ceiling uh, met the, the side of the table, I think it'd be better if I do that. How's that, guys? All right. 
All I do is I put it down flush, and then what I do is I push. Now, as I'm pushing with my finger, do you see what's happening? I am creating a flush top and a flush bottom, but the middle is giving, all right? And that is what it looks like. So nothing can get in under here. It, it, I mean, it was brilliant that Rick created the flaps because that way, because not everybody's uh, area is gonna be exactly the same measurement. This finds the right space and that's all there is to it. So whether this was white or brown or whatever, it, it's flexible, it'll wrap around a toilet bowl, it'll wrap around that, uh, you know the area of your sink if you've got a, a, you know, a, a top mount sink, uh, you know one of those ones that sit above, you could put it there, you could put this anywhere. If you've always hated the little crack that's in your, you know, where your ceiling uh, meets the wall, you can put it there as well. We are down to how many in white? All right, I had a thousand of white, I'm now down to 600 in white. I'm all right in the brown and I'm all right in the gray. You know, what a great do-it-yourself product, Rick. I mean, you, you couldn't have made it any easier for people to do. And Guy, you know, I gotta tell you something else. I know we're talking about colors all the time. After the last show, uh, my wife said to me, you know, Rick, you always talk about the fact that you can paint it. Why don't you show them? So here's what I did and here's one of these new uses that I talked about. You know, if you bought building materials recently, you know that you have to sell a kidney before you can afford a, a piece of lumber. Um, it's so expensive. So instead of buying an expensive uh, um, base molding, I just bought a piece of one by four. I put the Insta trim on top of it. No caulk. I'm finished. And it's forever going to stay against that wall and against that board. There is no adhesive on the pads. As, uh, as Guy showed you. So there's no residue if there's movement, it's just gonna ride it. And now, let's say I want a color. I just picked green because it's different than anything we have. And I just painted this and this, the baseboard and this in green. I taped off the wall, taped off the floor, painted it, done. So you can make it any color you want. It's totally paintable. You can use it inside, you can use it outside. It's just that, you know what it is, Rick, that I love? It takes a nice home and it makes it into, it, it just upgrades it, right? And you know, you know, that, that, that's why, listen, I paid, when I, when I redid my house in St. Pete, I paid a lot of money on crown molding because I love how it finishes that area between the wall and the ceiling. And it just, it just dresses it up. That's what this does. So whether you use it on a floorboard, whether you use it around your, uh, you know, whatever um, a kitchen or, or whatever bathroom product, you know, area you have, wh whether it's around the vanity, whether it's around the base of the toilet, the base of the toilet is why I bought it. All right, it's around every base. In okay. fact, I gotta get a picture of those dang things. I always forget. The base of the toilet is why I used it. First of all, I got two bathrooms in my house. One is mine, one is my son Danny's. Danny's bathroom can be, you know, like a, a pretty scary place when he's been in there for a while, you know, when he's been home from school. And, you know, we're guys, you know, we're shaving, you know, you get hair on the floor, you get all kinds of... Where does that stuff collect? It collects in all the little cracks and crevices. That's where it goes. So if you can seal all that off and make it look nice, like if you have people over and they look at, they look, and by the way, this is not moved. And you can remove it. I could get under there with, with this knife and I could remove it if I want to physically peel it back. I mean, it's on there, but you see, I can move it. So if I make a mistake, it'll go right back. But the difference in the before and after is ridiculous. And, and I will get a picture of my, uh, I know it's gross, but I'll give you a picture of my toilet and you'll see it. But I have it in mine and I have it in Danny's. I bought it in white. Gray will work in a bath as well. Brown is more for like living spaces. We are down to how many in white, Kyle? All right, last call on white, if you wanna get it. Um, I know our clock says we only have a minute. We're gonna go a little bit longer because as always, when Rick is in the house, people are shopping, they're going crazy. Go ahead, buddy. Guy, I gotta tell you, you know, we're talking about the house all the time, but if you have a motor home, you have a boat. Uh, for 30 some odd years, I've taught safe boating and uh, boat handling, and we have a boat that belongs to our organization, and we redid it. And I had cracks all over the place where the side of the boat met the uh, deck. And I used this throughout. And wind, weather, salt, it stayed. It looked fantastic. And if there's one thing that moves, it's a boat or a motorhome or a trailer. So don't just think in the house. You can use this 
virtually anywhere yeah. you've got some kind of a crack uh, to go. I got to show you one last thing. Uh, I know these weren't on the show today, but uh, this was so cool. Um, they were showing some strip lights uh, on Saturday when uh, when Ty was impersonating you, and um, we put you can put the strip light down like that. Now, when you put a light in, you never want to see you never want to see the source of the light. So look at this. We put in the Insta trim. We don't put it against the back wall. We just put it against the, the front. front. Yeah. Now, if I had something to stick in there, look at, you can see that's, that's just wide open space, and the light would come right up from that. How cool would that be? That is awesome. I love that idea, whether it's on the floor or the ceiling. All right, white is almost sold out, um, but I will tell you, if you don't, if you get shut out on the white, I would go the gray if you're going to use it for bath area or kitchen area. Yep. Uh, this is a really, really great color, and it kind of gives a nice contrast. Um, and if you, I use um, the gray in my bathroom. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. So if you don't, if you, if you, because I know the white is probably gone by now, so that sold out, but get it home. Try it out. You're going to love it. Over a 1,000 people have picked it up. There it is over there. Uh, if you want it, easy, easy do-it-yourself job. Rick Wood, always a great job, buddy. Pleasure, Guy. Great to have you back, and uh, look forward to seeing you again. Thanks, partner. All right, if you want to order it, I have it available in the brown, and I also have it available in the gray. 703-764 is the item number. Where am I going? Over here? Come on over. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna kind of go to a little bit of a different do-it-yourself. Um, a lot of us um, have various home security systems in our house. I do, I have a uh, outdoor cameras. I've got some Arlo cameras outside. I have a threshold uh, uh, alarm system in the house so if somebody breaks in, I have that. Um, the problem in my house, and maybe in yours is too, what about that back door? What about that garage door that comes off of your garage area, right? Or maybe you've got a slider, right, that you don't really trust, because you know you can take those sliders right off the track and get in there. A lot of you got a piece of wood in there. Why not use our door and window security bar? This thing is awesome. First of all, it will withstand up to 350 pounds of pressure. All you do is you hook it, the little collar, under the door, and then you adjust it down to the floor. It'll work on wood floor, carpeted floor, it doesn't matter. You lock it in, just like that, and now you've got another 350 pounds of pressure. So if somebody gets in there with a screwdriver, if somebody takes the door even off the hinges, right, they're still not gonna be able to push that door forward. It's a great safety and security added measure for anybody that has a back door, side door, uh, a slider, or even if you wanna put it on your front door, what if you've got kids in college? Your daughters and sons in dorms, right? And you're worried about those doorknobs because they don't have great locks on them. They don't have industrial docks in, uh, locks inside of a, a dorm door, right? It's a regular little push button lock. And you're worried about that, this is the way to go. Um, this installs in seconds. You simply adjust the, the height of the doorknob, angle it out, put it under, and this also has a built-in alarm, which it did not always have. So it senses motion, it'll automatically set off an alarm. We'll do that in a moment as well. These are also on sale for $22.95. They are available in bronze, silver, and also available in white. And I believe the other one is called black. Yeah, so black, bronze, white, or silver. This is how it works. I just set off the alarm by touching it. How cool is that? Turn the alarm off over here. There you go. I set it again, watch this, ready? I touch the door. Immediately the alarm goes off and it goes off on the inside so that people can hear it. It's brilliant. My good friend Craig Rappahana standing by to tell us more about it. Hey buddy, hey, by the way, customer pick. <laughs> I know, mate. G'day, mate. Good to see you. And hey, welcome to my laundry room. And this is the laundry room with the weakest door in the house. But I want to start here, guy, and then I'm going to switch gears and I'm going to show you how you can adjust this and put this in the slider because sometimes we forget about saying it, but it's a two-in-one. You're getting it for the door and you're getting it for the slider, so you're absolutely covered throughout the house. But what's really unique about this is, 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 is that I want to mention is that it comes like this. There's no massive book manual. There's no special apps. It's just good old strong strength that you get that you can prop up against the door. Now, three key things that you're absolutely going to love, and this is why I love it as well, is you've got this little York shape right here on the top, right? That is designed perfectly to go under handles, knobs. So guess what? No matter what decorative handle or knob you have around the home, it's designed to fit straight up underneath like so, 
and put that force pressure. And then of course, you'll see all the 40 holes going down here, you know, like at a quarter inch spacing. This is so you can fully adjust it to whatever length you want from 27 inches all the way up to 44 inches. And having a rubber molded foot at the bottom is absolutely brilliant because this is where the key feature gets in. 360 degree ball joint, right? So you can get it any angle you want to add that force pressure. And then it's got the little grooves in here, which are like little air pocket technology, they call it. And that is so it can have that suction against any type of flooring. So whether you've got carpet or tile, or wood flooring, it can be the smoothest floor that you slide across on your sock going to dinner. Well, guess what? It's gonna add that force pressure. And all you do is push the tab, do a quarter inch turn, and then all you do is adjust it up to where you want it, like so, and you put it up like this, no one's gonna come through that door because it's got 350 pounds of force pressure. And what we did, we put an alarm on it. So the minute someone touches that door or jiggles that lock, guess what? That alarm is gonna sound and it's gonna let you know that someone's either trying to jiggle on the door, get in, or even like my little kids, get out of the house, you know, so I can hear that alarm system. Sewing room, crafts rooms, that back patio, that even this this door here as well, absolutely perfect for it. Well, and you know, th this tech t technology is not new. Uh, I remember having something very similar to this uh, years ago, but the quality of it has gotten so good, all right? And if you're laying in bed at night and you're wondering, you hear something, how much better do you feel knowing that you've got a security bar right on your front door protecting yep. you. How much better do you feel if those Not sliders, good. them sliding windows, nobody can just slide them open, take them off the track. When we were kids, Craig, me and my brother, we get locked out of the house, which happens to kids all the time because we're dumb and we forget our key. My brother and I could go to the deck, literally lift the handle on the slider, lift it up, turn it over and open the door. That's how easy it was. And if you think people can't break into a regular door because it's got a lock on it, it is so easy to do that. In fact, Craig, show everybody the slider feature because I love that as well. Yeah, absolutely. So here's the slider right now. Just imagine this for a second, right? You got a four foot slider, right? You got a gap this size, right? Well, guess what? All you do is a quarter inch turn. You can adjust it, right? But here's the key thing. You pull the little tab here off. You take the little York off. Now you have that flat surface. Perfect. So now you can put it between those doors that are smaller, three foot, four foot, five foot, all the way up to those six foot doors. And all you do is use the holes here to adjust it to the length you want. Like so, turn it, see it locks in place. Yeah. And you are good to go, my friend. Perfect. Look You've at got that. that security bar here. Now, my dad loves the black one because I tell you what, he goes, I want the bad guys to see it. So they're not gonna come near the door. But then, my wife, she likes the white one because she's like, it's got to look pretty. I like the security. I love the feeling of it, but it's got to look pretty. Well, guess what? You put the white one in there. Can't even see it. See, it blends, in, blends into the door. Yeah. That's why we got you four colors, mate, because yeah. we know all those different sliders and doors. But what's really unique about this is that all you do is put this back on into the groove. You use the little pin right here, and now you can switch it back to the door, turn on the alarm, so it's really the brilliant two in one. Yeah, and I yep. love that it works on different types of flooring. So whether you've got a polished floor, remember it has that anti-skid on the bottom. If you've got a, listen, if you've got an area rug, I wouldn't put it on an area rug just because you don't trust the area rug to move, but I would put it on any carpeting, any floor, you know, you, I mean, listen, you're talking about your safety, your security, your kids, your family, your pets, right? It's $22, all right? We got a little bit of a sale price on it today. You get it home, you put it in that, maybe that door that you're worried about. If you want to get two, I good for you. Back. Front door, back door. You will sleep better at night. And I don't know where you live or what the neighborhood is like, but I know it doesn't matter where you live. Crime is everywhere, right? And people, are, they, you know, even good neighborhoods, bad, it's everywhere. This gives you that extra little bit of precaution, you know, the, the ounce of prevention, right? That lets you sleep well at night. So if you're worried, somebody can open up your back door, 
especially Craig, I always worry, like I said, uh, I dated this girl a long time ago. She lives in Tennessee. And she, uh, she basically was living in a giant house. Yeah, you, you remember. She was living in a really big house by herself. It was her grandmother's house. And yeah. there was like, they had a whole basement area with two or three access doors. And that's where she put her, uh, her, um, uh, her door and window bars. That's where she put them. She's like, I wouldn't even hear it if somebody broke in down there. So that's where yeah. you need them. Absolutely. That's why it has the holes there. You can be fully adjustable so you can put it to any type of doors. The hardest decision is how many you want to get and then what colors you want because every type of door, every type of slider is different. But what's unique about this, and I want to take this opportunity to come a little bit closer here, but look at this. This is the York design. This is so it fits underneath that door handle, that doorknob. There is your little alarm system, that little red tab right there. Brilliant. Now, you showed a good animation. I traveled to Oklahoma. I put my cowboy boots on and I put this in my backpack and I am gone because I like to stay on the bottom floor and run fast past the gym, as you know, guys, <laughs> and then head out the door, right? Out of But I know that whatever yeah. slider I'm in, whatever hotel I'm in, I've got the security bar with me. So I travel with it because it's completely comes apart, comes all the way down. It's absolutely brilliant. No yeah. apps, no crazy contractors need to turn up to install yeah. it. You got it. Don't don't try to do that with a two by four, everybody. <laughs> all right, do not try to do that with a two by four because it does not work the same. Customer pig, exactly. Craig, thanks buddy. Good to see you. Always, thank you champ. All right, yeah. man. All right, take care. Hey, by the way, remember, HSN's giving you $40 if you open up a brand new credit card account today. So if you're not a card member, uh, open one up. You can give us a call or you can go to hsn.com. $40 off your first uh, purchase, single item purchase. Use it on my next item, please, all right? This is called the iReach Soft Closing Ladder. Own it, love it, easily, easily, maybe higher, but top five all-time purchases I've ever made from the Home Shopping Network. All right, with good reason. Um, I have owned ladders before, tripod ladders. You know, ladders that slide back and forth. Always keep them outside, nasty. You know, if you gotta do an interior, interior painting job, they're full of nastiness, right? They're, they're hard to clean, they get covered in gunk. Then I discovered this ladder, all right? It's called the iReach Soft Close Ladder. This is a 12 and a half foot ladder. It uses an air-driven piston system to open it up and to close it. There are little locking levers that lock each one into place and it turns green so you know you're good to go. This ladder can go anywhere indoors. It can go anywhere outdoors. You can adjust it to whatever size because you go up in increments of about a foot when you expand it. Because you can see, see up top here? I haven't even gone all the way up to 12 and a half feet. It is the most beautiful, and I mean that sincerely, it is gorgeous to use, cylindrical shape, uh, shape design, one of the highest rated ladders available, OSHA rated, all that good stuff, for up to 250 pounds. And that ladder that you're looking at there is the same as the ladder that I have right here. And I am telling you, this is why I bought it. There it is. That ladder is that ladder. So you know what that means? I can put this in a closet, I can leave this indoors. I don't have to put it outside and leave it out in a shed or a garage where it takes up space. It never gets nasty. I, I put this right in my closet. I take it out if I need to change the light bulb. If I'm painting, cleaning, I've got a 12 and a half foot ladder, whatever I want. I love this thing and I use it all the time. I know somebody else that uses it all the time. Oh, by the way, free shipping and handling. Let me add one more thing before Linda comes in. A brand new HSN credit card. $119.95, the best money you'll spend today, okay? Free shipping delivered to your door. Here's Linda, she knows all about it, building, contracting, <laughs> and construction. Yep. She knows all about it. Why do you love it, Linda? Well, also, because I have a 12 and a half foot ladder under my arm, weighs only 21 pounds, and it's 33 inches. I can put it, if I had a little VW, a Mini Cooper, you know, I could put it in the back. But let me just tell you that what I like about this are all the features, hook and loop, right? So I undo it like this. Now watch this, 33 inches and look how fast and easy that this is going to go up to 12 and a half feet. Now you hear those clicks? I'm gonna talk to you about those clicks in a minute. Now watch, when I come up close here, this is what I love about this ladder. See this on each side, see this over here? 
This shows me that this is click in place. This lever here, when it's not engaged, look at that, it turns red. So every time I go up on this ladder, I can see, is this clicked in place? If it's not, guess what? I make sure it's clicked into place. Now, the other thing that I love about this, let me kind of tilt it a little bit for you. These are not round rungs. This is a flat rung. What I like about this is that when I put my foot on this rung, it's not gonna slip off like a round rung. Now, when it comes time, oh, by the way, look at this, 21 pounds. How about this, how easy this is to be able to dance with if you want to. Now, when it comes time to put this down, like you said, it has this air piston system so that it doesn't slam down. It goes nice and easy. When these levers are engaged, then it brings down the next rung, the next rung, and the next rung. So then my favorite part about this really is storage, ease, and use of it because you can, you know, just keep it in your RV. Imagine being able to travel with a 12 and a half foot ladder in an RV. That's pretty amazing. So what you'll do is you'll put this maybe in between your refrigerator and your wall in your closet. It doesn't matter, but look at this. I love it. Now, when it's extended and I go up here, I know, as I said before, every time I'm looking at each rung, making sure that my levers are clicked into place. I have, I have been on many, many, many ladders. And I can tell you, not all ladders are built the same. What I like about this ladder, and I used to teach carpentry, and you've heard of OSHA. It's a safety. It's an occup Occupational Safety Health Administration, and they have certified it right here, right? Like, let me see if I can get it in here a little bit this way. Okay, so it says OSHA right here. Also, look at the bottom, and I think this is what we also like about this, is that it's not those you know, knives that go right into the ground. It's a nice round footprint. And you can see that it's rubber so it doesn't mar your floor. It stays where it is. And the same thing on the top here. When you put it up against your wall, again, you're gonna have that rubber. So many great things about this guy. You love it, I love it. And I'm telling you, when you get it home, you're gonna love it. Projects, right? Maybe we're going to clean the gutters. Maybe you're uh, you're going to paint around the window trim. Maybe you're going to do stuff indoors, right? Maybe you need to dust off those shelves. What's so nice about that? I love that shot of the soft close ladder right there. What I love about it is it's easy to use. It's easy to store. It's not heavy. This is what Linda was talking about, the OSHA rating, ANSI rating right here, which is right written down right on the bottom right there. And you can see that's a big deal. All right. So you know you're getting a safe lab, a ladder. Anti-skid feet. I think you can see those there. You see how those are, those are not going to skid down on your floor. All right. The fact that I can hold it in one hand. All right, granted, I'm a little bit bigger than probably you are, but I can do that. You can do it as well. I have, I have a ladder I can put in a closet. Do you realize the only ladders I had before, I had that, you know, a 15 foot ladder, crisscross, you know, uh, bypass ladder, pain in the neck, huge, clunky, made of, of aluminum that was so cheap that when you get, get, get on it, literally you could feel it bowing. I never feel that with this ladder, all right? When you get on a ladder like a tripod ladder, that, I actually have two tripod ladders in my shed. I never use them, all right? Why? It's not worth it. They, they're, first of all, they're eight foot ladders. I can't reach my gutters with them if I was doing outside. Uh, they're clumsy to bring inside, all right? How many times have I pinched my hands on the mechanism that opens up, you know, that, that where they open up like in a V? How many times have you gotten your hands caught in there? They're flimsy because they're aluminum. I mean, you, you are, most of you are not going out and buying a contractor grade, you know, 20 foot ladder for $350, all right? You don't need it. You need a ladder that's about 10 to 12 feet to be able to do interior and exterior. You need a ladder that's lightweight, a ladder that you can keep clean indoors. Like, look at that. Is she gonna pull out a nasty ladder from her, her basement or garage? to do her interior, she's got white walls, <laughs> no. You want a ladder that's upscale, that, and I, this is an upscale ladder, trust me, this is a fancy ladder. Like, I love owning it. When I pull this out of my house, people are like, dude, that's the coolest ladder I've ever seen. Because it uses technology, really good technology to close upon itself. Do you know in the old days, when we first, oh, old days, a few years back, and Linda remembers, Linda, remember when it wasn't soft close, 
right? Right. And yep. it was a little sketchy when you when you close the rungs because they would fall down. They added that reverse piston, so now they cl they close softly. You're never going to hurt your hands. No pinching, no nothing. This is a great ladder for guys, for girls, for for anybody that's doing any kind of a, a of a project outside or inside. But you're going to do it safely. All right. Uh, we started out. We had close to 600. How many do I have left, Kyle? All right, 475 remaining. Everybody in the country, get it home. Free shipping and handling. Get a brand new HSN credit card. We'll drop the price to 119. Linda, I want you to go because I know you got lots to show. Yeah, well, listen. If you're just uh, uh, catching this, this is a 12 and a half foot ladder I have under my arm here. It collapses down to 33 inches, weighs 21 pounds, will hold up to 250 pounds. And look at this, easy hook and loop. You just undo that. And then watch this, look how easy this is. Now, you could have a shorter ladder if you wanted to, you just would keep the collapsed rungs on the top. But look at this, I this is heavy duty aluminum. And what does that mean to me? Well, it means it'll hold up to 250 pounds, but guess what? It weighs only 21 pounds. And for me, because I've been on a lot of faulty ladders in my career as a carpenter and a contractor, these here, these are, green means go, red means you better stop and lock it in. So when this is not locked, look at this, it turns red. Now, when I go up and the rungs are flat, which I love, you yeah. can see this, you can put yep. your foot right on there, Not no slipping on a round rug. But every time I go up, I'm looking, and if this is red, I know this is not clicked into place. Notice when it's clicked into place, you have those levers that come out on them. And when it's time to close it, so easy, it's going to now close down to 33 inches. It won't slam down on your hands. It has that nice air piston closing mechanism Look to this. You are just going to love this ladder. It's so easy to use. Yeah. It's so, and, and the truth is you were saying this as well, that it is it's easy to keep this clean. And ladders, as I think we all know, they can get a little dirty yeah. over time, but this, very easy to clean. You can put this in the back of your trunk. And imagine having an extension ladder that you could put in the back of a little VW yeah. bug. So Look if you're you. a student, Look at you. if you're a muralist, Look if you're a homeowner, yeah. a renter, this is it. How many ladders do you know yep. that's over, tw over 12 feet that you can carry in one arm? And Linda's not a big giant lady, all right? Linda's tiny, you know, she's, she's you know, but she's strong and all that. But I mean, you, you don't have to be a bodybuilder to, to handle this ladder. And Linda, you know what right. else I love about it? They reversed what the traditional ladder design is. And you hit on part of it. They made the rungs square so that your foot sits on it. And they made the ladder right. structure round so it's easier on your hands when you're climbing. So easier on the hands, easier on the feet, easier on your floors, easier to store. I mean, I'd spend, let me just tell you, I would probably spend double the price if I had to get this ladder again. And when I use it at my house, my son, Danny, who is, it's not that, it's not too easy to impress anymore. He thinks he knows everything. He sees this ladder. He's like, dad, I got to tell you, that is the coolest thing I think you've ever gotten from home shopping. I'm like, how neat is this to have a ladder that's automatic? Look at this guy. It's automatically closing. You don't have to do nothing. Just let it click down. Indoors, outdoors. Linda, I know our clock went out, but we got two more minutes. We got to keep going. There's so many people shopping. Yes, I've got about 400 absolutely. remaining, so we've gone through almost half the quantity. Keep going. Show everybody more cool stuff, or you can start over again if you want. Well, listen, I, you know, I don't mean to, like, to rule out the guys, but for what, as a woman... This is a woman's ladder because it's so easy to use. It's 12 and a half feet. Your guy is going to love it. He'll probably have sticky fingers and take it from you in no time. <laughs> the reason why I love this is that it collapses down to 33 inches. It's only 21 pounds. It'll hold up to 250 pounds. But look at this. Now, if I didn't need 12 and a half feet, you know, I can just keep the rungs and stack them up here and then lift it up. But look how easy this is. Yeah. I mean, seriously, an extension Crazy. ladder that's this easy. It's like a magic 21 trick. 21 pounds. <laughs> e yes, and easy for me to move yeah. around. And when I go up on these wonderful rungs that are not round, they're nice and flat for my foot to just stay sturdily on. Yeah. If every time I go up, I can see these little windows here, and I'm going to bring it up here. Yep, green is this good. This window here, yep, green is good. Green means that, look, 
it's go. If it's red, that means that this isn't clicked into place and you have to pull it up and you'll hear that click and you'll also see this lever. So I like that extra feature sure. and that safety feature that every time I go up, I'm looking at each one of these little green windows to make sure that they are indeed green. When it, when it comes time to putting it together, that's all you have to do. You start doing one and they start collapsing from the top end. Yeah. And there you hey, go. Hey, Linda, what a, great mother's, yeah. what a great Mother's Day or Father's Day gift, right? Really wow. nice. Absolutely. Yeah, and you know, I joke and I, I say that Linda's like a magi magician, but you, you, you're going to be like one too. It's literally like pulling a ladder out of your <laughs> yeah. hat, right? It's like pulling right. a ladder out of your hat. It's the coolest thing, and it solves a big right. problem. Um, it's probably my pick in the, whole, in the whole couple of hours. I really love this. I'm passionate about it. Um, I own it. I, I just love that I can have a ladder that I can keep indoors, and there it is, right there. So if you, you know, if you've got light bulbs to change, if you have plants that you need to water that are up high, if you need to dust or whatever, right? You need to move a picture. How else are you going to do? You're going to take your nasty, stinky ladder from outside, and I agree, great ladder for both the ladies and the guys. It's hey, you can handle it. So if you're of smaller stature, you can still have a ladder. Maybe if you're a guy up to 250 pounds. So you're good to go on this as well. Um, I'm, two, I'm 215, 220, and I get on this ladder probably once or twice a month, love it. Oh, one last thing I wanna say. My uh, director, Charlie, brilliant idea. Charlie owns this. So you got two people on the same show that own the ladder, you can tell you right there. He said, you know, for RVs, perfect. Cause you, you know, when you have an RV, you need a ladder. It's perfect for that, Linda. Absolutely, great for traveling. I mean, look at this. So I'm about 5'6", this is 21 pounds, collapses down to 33 inches, but it goes up to 12 and a half feet. So if you're an RV, if you have a condo, if you have the tall, tall ceiling, vaulted ceilings, you can get up to those curtains, curtain rods, you're gonna love it and we wanna hear about it too. So make sure you leave us a, a review. I wanna hear everybody uh, and what they're using it for. I, I know, I, I, I wish I could leave a review. I, well, that's pretty much what I did <laughs> yeah. the last the last uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> Free shipping and handling. I'm gonna say it one more time, with a brand new HSN credit card, it's $119.95. It'll probably be one of the best things you've ever purchased from us as well as it is with me. Linda, you always do a wonderful job. Thank you so much, my dear. Thank you, have a great day. All right, I will, thanks Linda. All right. So while you have your ladder, maybe you're thinking about doing some fix-ups around the house, maybe some painting. Well, before you grab a roller or a brush or a bucket or any of that stuff, tarps and all that, let me introduce you to Wagner. So I bought my first Wagner power sprayer about six or seven years ago. Love it. I, my project was I wanted to paint my shed. And you guys have probably seen my blue shed, right? If you've seen my garden show. I painted that shed completely in about 15 to 20 minutes using the Wagner power sprayer. <laughs> Very little spillover, right? Very easy to do, no taping, all right? Easy, easy, no dripping. Maximize, uh, maximizing my paint because it actually puts air in the paint, which makes the paint spread more evenly and it's not gloopy or gloppy. So if you need to do one or two coats, you will love it. Um, it is called the Flexio 4000. Everybody that orders will get the uh, Flexio painter. You'll also get the secondary one, so this is great for detailing. You get both these included. You dial up the spray, either a horizontal or a vertical spray. You can control the amount of paint that goes through it. Same with on the smaller one. Okay, we are doing a discount of 217 down to 169. The best part about it is the cleanup, five minutes. It is, I, you know, when I first bought one, I was like, oh, am I gonna have to soak up? Rinse it out with water, put it away. Easier than trying to you know, wash out brushes and do all that other crud that you have to do with a regular paint job. I love it. So anyway, indoors or out, uh, outdoor painting, you can use any kind of paint. Uh, even the heavier paints or stains, you can use those as well. 169.95. I gotta get right to Lou because I know we're going a little bit over in time. Lou, do your do your stuff, buddy. Show everybody how easy this is. All right, let's jump right into it here. So I'm gonna paint this door real quick here using my Flexio 4000. Now. The, the main part of this, the impeller sits on the ground. The part that I've got in my hand here with the paint in it weighs less than a gallon of milk. So it's actually really easy to work with. Now, guy, watch how fast I can paint this door. And everything on this is totally customizable. So I can control how much paint's coming oh out. Gosh. I can control uh, how wide the stream of this is. And with this particular model, I can even control the impeller inside. 
and control the air pressure that's pushing this out. So real quick, boom, just like that, wow. we painted that door. And you can see how fast that is. Now, I went faster than I could with the brush and roller. It's gonna dry faster and I use less paint. Let me do one more thing real quick. I've got a wicker chair over here, guy, and I know that for you and I both, this is like the bane of our existence to have to do a wicker chair because it takes a lot of work. But I want you to see how fast I can do this with the Wagner. And I don't have to use a brush. I don't have to do any stippling, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna turn this on. Watch how quickly I can do this. And it's gonna get into every single nook and cranny on this. And I can do this in one pass if I want to, which I think is really amazing because it does such a nice even coat as I go over this. Look at that. And again, imagine doing this on a hot summer day, you're standing outside, the last thing you wanna do is spend a lot of time doing a project like this, when you might wanna to go to a ball game, you might wanna sit down and relax, but guy, that quickly, we're gonna say that that chair is done. You see how fast it is? I mean, I didn't do the back of it, but my gosh, what would that take me? 45 seconds, I mean, it's crazy. It, the first time I used it, I actually yeah. thought, I'm like, how have I not known about this for years? How have right? I not known how, and then, you wonder because when you get your house painted, are the guys out there with brushes and rollers painting the exterior of your house? No, they're using spray, they're using spray painters. It's faster, you get better results, no brush marks, no drip, no mess. It's much cleaner. The problem is those guys are using three, $4,000 systems. You can get one from the people that know and have been doing this for years, Wagner, for $169.95 on sale today. So even if it's just your deck, maybe it's uh, your outdoor chairs, maybe it's a table, furniture, trim, uh, indoors, uh, walls, right? I did, I, my next job, I'm gonna do my sun porch because my sun porch is stucco. Have you ever tried to paint stucco with anything other than a spray painter? You can't. You can't use a roller on, on heavy duty exterior stucco. You'll be out there all day and you'll use 50 gallons of paint. You need a, a compressor and you need an air spray painter and that's what this is. So whether it's indoors, outdoors, in fact, Lou's got an outdoor project for you right now. Lou, go ahead, show him. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first I want to show everybody real quick the control on this, okay? Yeah. When you look at the top of this, you're going to see right here, you can adjust right here how much of the product is going to come out of this. I can adjust right here how wide the stream is. You showed everybody earlier how you can go from vertical to horizontal just by rotating that. And then on the base unit, you've also got the ability to control how much spray is coming out. But I'm just going to go full blast on this. I'm going to use stain, not just paint, okay? And this is a raw wood fence. Raw wood fences love to eat up anything you put on it right whether it's stain it's paint no matter what it is guy and look at the way that this is going on here so if you've got a big project like a whole backyard a deck i mean anything like that that you've got to do your wagner flexio 4000 is going to make short work that. of it look and not only will that. you get done quicker you're going to use less paint or less stain in this case to get that job done lou lou let me, let's look at that fence right there if you were using a brush tell me how you would paint that did we lose Lou? Did he freeze up? All kinds of oh, stuff. There he is. All right, go Look ahead, Lou. That. So if you yeah, have to use, right. Yeah. Go ahead, you do it now. Go ahead, show everybody. You'd have to stipple. No, I was gonna say, you know, we're talking about roller, we're talking about a brush, we're talking about stippling underneath there. I mean, this would be a big product. Plus, it's not gonna put down the volume of paint that I can right. do with my Wagner. So we're talking multiple coats without the Wagner. I, you know, I, I, the, the basis of how paint is, paint is usually very, very thick, very viscous, unless you get to stains, but the, the way by which we normally apply it is we use something that's very thick like a brush or a roller. So half the paint sticks on the roller, you're pushing it on there, the roller sticks to the wall surface, the brush gets goopy paint on the side, and you're wasting a lot of paint. When you have the Flexio, you don't waste any paint. In fact, you realize that if you were to paint a 10 by 12 wall with a regular bucket of paint and a roller, and I've done it, you know, one big wall in your bedroom, how many times do you have to put more paint in the tray? right? Four or five times. You got to pour more paint in that tray to do one wall. One container of, of paint in the, in, this, in the one power sprayer will do an entire mm -hmm. wall without yep. having to go up and down and rolling back and dropping and dripping paint. All you do is grab it, right? Get the hose. You're done. It's that easy. You know, obviously you have a little bit of taping and stuff like that to do, but it's never been easier. $169.95 is a better price than I paid for mine, and I bought mine six years ago. I paid $199 for mine. It was worth it. I use it all the time. It is easy to clean. This has updated technology that mine mm -hmm. never had, because mine's seven years old, Lou. This is much easier even than it was back then. 
No, it is. And that's the thing about this. You're talking about how it breaks down. Five minutes, five pieces. It's that easy to clean this when you're done with the job. But let's do another quick one. I'm going to paint the deck and the railing. I'm going to use the detail nozzle, which we haven't done yet. So I'm going to turn this on. And this is for your finer job. So I'm going to use it on the railing back here. And you're going to see how quick and easy that just paints this railing in just a couple of seconds. A beautiful shade. Now, I'm going to turn off my impeller. And all I've got to do is just rotate this handle, take off that nozzle, and now we put on the eye spray nozzle. That fits right on, and it actually clicks into place. Like, I know that's on there now because I can hear it. Now watch this, how fast I can do this deck over here. Look at that. I mean, it just makes such short work oh of any gosh. project guy. And as you said, I'm not going back and filling up my pan so that I can take my roller and finish this job up. And I'm not having to go back and stipple anything. With a brush, boom, we're done. I gave it a Look little extra that. blast right there. I mean, come on. Yeah. Just make short work of any summer so, project that you're going to tackle. So let me tell you a little backstory on me and Lou. So go Lou ahead. and I, <laughs> he knows exactly what I was saying. I do. Lou and I decided after all the uh, do-it-yourself hard projects that we got done during COVID, that now everything was going to be easy, right? So we are looking, and Lou is looking to bring products that are easy to use, and that's what this yeah. is. And I will tell you, anybody that has tried to paint, uh, present company included, an Adirondack chair. You know what an Adirondack chair is? They should call it a pain in the whatever chair. You know exactly <laughs> when it comes to trying to paint it. There are so many little cracks and crevices and nuances. Oh, it's beautiful. It's an Adirondack chair. La, la, la. It's just a pain in the butt to paint. Same with the wicker that Lou showed you. And when you use a power painter, like we're showing you today, you're basically taking the principles of a pressure washer and you're using paint. And remember what I say about pressure washer. Pressure washer forces a material, water in a pressure washer, where a normal hose can't go. It gets in the cracks. Right. It gets in the crevices. Areas where you gotta get that paint in, which you'd have to take a brush. And I have a brush right over here. Look, I got a regular little stippling brush right here. I gotta take this brush. I gotta dunk it in paint. And then I gotta get in all, I gotta do this. I, you know, all yep. these little, like that, do you know what a pain in the butt that is? All that, and then this brush you're throwing away because it gets trashed from stippling anyway. Why do that? I mean, if you have to cut in things in certain areas, I get that. If you don't want to overspray on another wall, I get that, or tape. But why do the bending? Lou, the rolling where you got to bend over, you got to load up oh, the roller, no. and then the roller. Yeah. Lou, what happens to the roller? Paint gets on the, paint gets on the sides, right? Right. Right, it drips all over. And then those things, I never, you know, you people wrap them in plastic bags to save them for the next day because you can't finish a project in one day with a roller, right? But you know what? That never works for me. They always dry out, they get hard. With your Wagner, it's never gonna happen. Remember what we said, five minutes, five pieces. You'll be ready to go again anytime you wanna paint with this. And it's gonna last you for years. I've had one now for two years, one of the newer ones, and the thing works like a champ. Real quick, for all the crafters out there, if you ever wanna upcycle something, you wanna make something look fresh and new, watch this. I'm using that detail nozzle again. Watch how I can come on here and just rotate this pot around just like that. I just about did the whole thing in one pass. Boom, 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 and done. Look at that. That's ready to go right there. You can't do that with a brush guy or roller. Real quick, we got a couple seconds. I'm gonna do this louver behind me, and this is another yeah, yeah, one of those jobs that you and I, Keep we going. hate this, okay? All right, here we go. Watch the louver here. Watch how fast I Hardest can do this. Hardest job to ever paint. Here it goes. Oh my gosh, I hate doing louvers. I'm just gonna go back and forth and work my way down here. You know what's cool about this guy? Is that paint is actually getting up underneath yeah. the louvers as I'm going down here. I and mean, it's doing a great job of getting a nice even coverage here. Look at this thing go. And I'm gonna end up using less paint. You know that if you paint a room inside, guys, by the time you get to the fourth wall, the first wall is already dry when you use your Wagner Flex Zero 4000. We're just about done here. Now, if I were doing this with a roller, <laughs> with a brush, yeah. how you need much an hour. longer? <laughs> and we're done, guy. Lou, first of all, Kelly Caputo, I'll be very proud of you because you're a good crafter with your pot, but also I'm very yeah. proud of you. I've never seen a louver door like that done in like less than a minute. That is crazy. Crazy. It's insane. It's insane. <laughs> Thank less you, my pain, friend. Less time. Love it. You're I welcome, love it too. Buddy. By the way, it comes with a bag, right, everything you need, all the extra hosing, everything. The compressor is included. Everything good to go. Get this while you can. 768-038 is the item number. Free shipping. Uh, I will see you guys on Friday. We got uh, guys in the garden on Friday, and then now that's clever on Saturday. In the meantime, continue shopping with us because the amazing, lovely, and talented uh, Miss Leslie is going to take you on from here. I'll see you guys later in the week. Have a great one. See ya. Curlier is
is an Italian bath and body company rich in history and tradition. Never far from where it started, Perlier is old world skills mixed with modern day science. Driven by a focus to treat skin with the best ingredients, Perlier continues to develop innovative new lines while staying true to its culture. Discover luxurious bath and body rituals from Italian botanical gardens with Perlier. HSN and QVC, in honor of Women's History Month, we're shining a light on some of the woman-owned small businesses that are the heart and home of our communities. Hear their unique stories of inspiration and innovation, and let us help you discover how to support these exceptional small businesses so they can continue to anchor our communities for years to come. Search Small Business Spotlight at hsn.com to learn more about these featured businesses. HSN. We are live here in St. Petersburg, Florida. My name is Leslie. We just finished two hours with the DIY 